In this video, I'm going to show you about shortcuts in MATLAB. So let's start with the most basic one, that is to simply start a new script, and it is a shortcut Control N. So Control N simply starts a new blank script. Okay, so let me open here a code that I have. This code, the user inputs an integer number, and it outputs the number of digits that the entered number has. So this code here is not indented properly. Actually, it has no indentation. So if I want to indent these three lines of code, I select the three lines, press tab, I have one indentation. If I press tab again, double indentation. For example, if I want now to remove one indentation of these three lines of code, I select the three lines of code and press shift tab, it will remove one indentation. If I press it again, it will remove all the indentation. Luckily, MATLAB has an automatic way of identifying your code for you. To do this, you just have to select all your code and press the shortcut Ctrl I, and all your code will be automatically indented. So now let's talk about commenting and uncommenting your code. So in MATLAB, when you write the percentage sign, it understands that will what will follow this percentage sign will be a comment and will not be interpreted in the code. So let's comment uh, not this line, but this line here. So let's say uh, it adds one. So this would be a comment. So uh, when running your code, sometimes it, we, we want to comment some lines of, of the code. So for example, if I want to comment this line right here, I just have to click on it. And there is a, a shortcut to do it that is Ctrl R. So Ctrl R will comment the line. And the, the shortcut to undo this commenting process is Ctrl T that will uncomment the line. So if I want to comment a block of code, I select the block of code, Ctrl R, and it's done. If I want to uncomment this block of code, I have to select it, Ctrl T and the block will be uncommented. So another very useful feature in MATLAB that is that we can separate our code in sections. So how we do this? We just have to enter the double percentage sign space and MATLAB will start a section of inside our code. So let's name the first section of erase the variables and comment. So let's create the second section that would be the user input. And the last section would be the number of digits. All right. So for example, if you, we want to run the section number of digits, what we, we, do we normally do? We normally select the code that we want to separately run and press the key F9 or right click on the mouse and select evaluate selection. So this is the longer way of executing this section. So luckily MATLAB has a shortcut to execute separate sections of our code. So let me create a variable, a one, so we can see that the common window and the variables will be erased. So to run a separate section, you click on the section and press the shortcut control enter. And the section, it's executed as we can see from the window and the variables were erased. So we can do the same thing to the second section. Click on it, control enter. MATLAB will ask us to enter uh, digits. Let's enter one or four, a number. Okay. And lastly, we can select the section number of digits and click control enter. And MATLAB will run this part of the code. So as we can see, the output is three digits, which is absolutely correct. So this shortcut can be very useful in saving us time because we just have to click on this, the section and press Control Enter. We don't have any more to select and press F9 or right click on the mouse, evaluate selection. So this shortcut can save us time. So the last shortcut that I would like to talk about, let me first put MATLAB on an infinite slope. So I write y1, shift enter to run to write on the second line, a equals one, shift enter, and so now I will press enter and uh, the, the above code will be executed. 
So as we can see, MATLAB is running an infinite loop. And if you want to end this process, you just have to press the shortcut Control C, and the process is extinguished. So these were the most useful MATLAB shortcuts. I would like to thank you for watching this video and also ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Take care and be safe.